Hey, Clint, thanks for joining us. Hi. Again, if you're online and you have a question, please use the raise hand feature and we'll do questions in the room first. Clean, congrats on the win and the clean sheet. Why don't you start us off with your thoughts on tonight's match today? I think we had really great stretches of Thorn soccer. And it's the first time in a couple games where I felt like uh, we put together really good stretches of quality minutes, uh, limited their opportunities, and looked more like us. And we looked like we were having fucking fun. So when we look like that, then we're, we're at our best. And I think um, we're pretty unstoppable when, our, when we're at our best. Hi, Kling. Um, Kelly getting the <laughs> goal, um, obviously a, an enjoyable moment for everybody. Um, yeah. What was your experience oh in that God, moment? Oh, my God, her eyes. I love it. Her <laughs> eyes just, like, it's, like, they're just like, yes. Um, it's like she surprises herself with her own brilliance. Um, but it was such a good goal, and uh, qu quality cross on Sam, and then Kel just, you know, putting it back across the frame of the goal and it happens to go in and if it doesn't happen to go in we have runners following up to try and you know put it in I just think that's such quality and anytime a defender gets up there and gets a, a goal we get extra happy um, you know that's how we get Bella to run out of the out of her own 18 to celebrate uh, one of us scores so she she got to run out twice today that's pretty it's pretty cool Liv Moultrie has really, you know, come into her own in the last mm -hmm. few games. Um, you know, been a consistent starter. Mm -hmm. um, what have you seen from her in terms of her growth this season? Yeah, Liv's just been super dangerous. She's been one of the most dangerous um, attacking presences on the pitch, and so seeing her step up into that role and then like put good balls in the box, uh, quality passes, uh, getting shots on goal, getting goals. Um, that's what we need. And so that's, that's why she's on this team. That's why we have anybody on this team, and we don't care how old you are. Um, if you can produce and if you can help us get to the place where we can sc score and assist and get good minutes, then that's, that's the type of player that Liv is, and that's the type of player we need on the pitch. And Crystal's been really going off this season. I mean, <laughs> she, it's, this is her first full season back yeah. uh, from, from having a child. I mean, what, what can you say about oh, what she's so nice. achieved? I mean, it's so nice to see. I just, I don't care what Crystal, like, achieves. It's not about that. It's, it's about Crystal being herself. It's about her having fun. It's about Crystal unleashing her inner mom. Like, <laughs> she, like, you do not mess with Mama Bear. You know what I'm saying? So it's nice to see Crystal be herself. I think that um, she's had, uh, like, in the last couple of years, just a lot going on, whether it's being pregnant or injured or whatever. And now she's just finally getting to play a bit more free. And when she's been playing free, she's been fantastic for us. And it's just so um, inspiring to watch. And I love being a part of it because being on the pitch with her, uh, she opens everything up and allows other players to get into spaces to like really hurt the other team through Crystal's quality. So it's um, been really great to have her on the pitch and, and watch her be herself and watch her kick ass. Did you get Marcel anything for his birthday? Yeah, and I did. are you I going can't to tell the party? You what I got him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryan, how dare you? He will know. I got him his favorite food and a lot of them. Uh, I don't. You guys don't know this about Marcel, but like he's he's the best. But he. Um, loves lemons he's obsessed with lemons it's his favorite food so i got him like a dozen lemons um <laughs> and so he's gonna be in his happy place all day okay i just gotta say that giving a one-year-old lemons is just really weird <laughs> just it's gonna, gonna say it's, i didn't get to choose what his favorite food is <laughs> marcel chooses i just go with the flow back to soccer um i asked kelly um if, you know, being in Houston and the grind of the road yeah. and everything, did that give you guys a little extra uh, motivation to come out and make a statement like that? No. Um, the past is the past. Um, you know, we try and stay in the present moment because that's all we can control. We know that the results that we were getting weren't what we normally get, but that's because we weren't playing like us. And so we had some hard conversations and discussed 
what it, what does it look like? What does it feel like when we are at our best? And why aren't we feeling that and looking like that right now? So we had those hard conversations and we talked through it and worked through it. And um, <clears throat> to me, it's just about us figuring out how to fly. You know, how to let go of fear, let go of anxiety, let go of results, let go of anything that we can't control and just fly. And we were able to do that today. And when we do that, it's just beautiful soccer. But it's not just beautiful soccer, it's beautiful soccer with purpose. And so um, some teams play for wins, some teams play for championships, but we play for like the things that we know are gonna help us um, be our best. And so we don't play f like we don't play for wins. We play to be our best, and we know that when we do play our best, that the wins follow. Uh, so we have a bit of different philosophy than other teams, and so we just try to get to the place, uh, create a culture and environment where we can be free, we can feel safe, we can feel fun, joy, brave, all of those different things. And when we feel those things, you see what happens. I'm going to go run through a wall right now. <laughs> uh, clean, congrats on the three points. Uh, it seems like having the goals and the win kind of keeps you one, one degree below the boiling point uh, as far as uh, sh shoulder to shoulder tackles. Um, I saw a little bit of frustration from you later in the last half. Uh, could you maybe go in depth about some of the calls that were made? I mean, we're not, we never talk about referees. I just think that, like, that's part of the game. That's part of, soccer in general um we always say that like every year we want the refereeing to be better because that's going to help the quality of our play and that's going to help the quality of our league and it's not a slight on the referees at all in fact because we expect us to be better every year as well um i think we just want to make sure that players are kept safe and to me there are a few times you know where <coughs> play is you know, some players see red sometimes and, and um, go after the legs and things like that instead of the ball. But that's just life. That happens. This is the game. Like, you get mad. Um, but that's what referees are for. So referees are supposed to bring players back down to that <laughs> neutral zone, you know. Um, and hopefully we can continue having referees that can help, uh, help players get back into that neutral zone because nobody wants to wa watch a soccer match that's just a – like a slugfest. To me, that's that's not going to help the quality of our league. That's not going to help viewership. And so um, investment in refereeing is particularly important for the quality of play. Um, and I think we're on the way to, to doing that. We invested in VAR and we invested in, um, you know, the, the referees formed their union and it's been rec recognized. So I think we're well on our way. Um, of course, there's always growing pains but that's just what happens. This is life. Kling, how important was the clean sheet today in terms of confidence after the couple games where goals were going in? Fuck yeah, it's important. <laughs> that's it. Um, let me just see if we have any questions online. All right, looks like we're good to go. Thanks cool. for your time, Thanks. Kling, and we'll right. see you next week. All right. Uh, do we have, I uh, want to start with questions in the room for Kelly. We'll start with Ryan in the front. Hi, Kelly. Uh, congrats on the win. Um, starting out, obviously, this is an important game for the team to kind of regain its joy, its confidence. Um, how do you think that worked out? Yeah, we've had a really good training week, just like everyone being positive and just kind of being themselves. And it definitely showed in the game today because we came out like, guns blazing, just like being ourselves and like doing what we're good at. And I think it was just important for us as a group to like feel like ourselves again. And obviously a, a goal for you tonight, second of your career, um, you were close to a brace too. You had that <laughs> header that was yeah. pr pretty close. Um, what was the feeling for you to, to contribute in that way? Yeah, we worked on it yesterday and I like missed like two over the goal yesterday. So I was like, oh, like pretty upset. But everyone's like, no, it's going to come tomorrow. And it did. So I'm just excited. I actually, the first one was just trying to hit it back across the goal and ended up going in. So just super excited. Uh, it frustrated a little bit on the header maybe to, yeah. to go home with the brace. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I mean, I wasn't expecting it, but yeah, it was it was super fun. So exactly what we like drew up, with, like the game plan. So it worked. 
Hey, congratulations on Thanks. the goal. Um, you kind of touched on it just a little bit, but did Houston kind of give you guys a little bit of motivation in terms of this match? Yeah, I think we were on like a two-day road trip. It was just like a long week, and I think – like you could see then in the game. So we were just like, you know what, let's put that behind us and let's just start fresh. We're at home. Um, we get to play in front of our fans. We haven't been home in a while. So I think just getting that out of our heads and just like focusing on us and just like what we can bring to the table is huge. Other questions in the room? Okay. Kelly, how important is a clean sheet in a day like today? Yeah, like super important. I actually met with Mike like a couple of days ago and I was just like, oh, these goals, like they're killing me. Like I take every goal personally, even if it's like, I'm not blaming anybody on any goals ever, but like I always take a goal personally, even if I was involved or not. So like the past few games have just been like crushing. So like I told him, I'm like, we need a clean sheet. We need a clean sheet. He's like, you know what? Like just play the game, like play you. Don't focus on that because then you're adding like extra pressure. But to get it in the end was like just what we needed. Hi, Kelly. Uh I saw you uh, just before a match, and you have uh, some uh, little children's uh, bicycle. What's the background <laughs> about that? Um, it's Marcel's first birthday was yesterday, so his birthday party is this afternoon. And Soph like, can't go, so I'm bringing her gift for him. <laughs> yeah, we're having his birthday party. <laughs> All right, do we have any questions online? Let me check. Yes, we do have a question online. We're going to go to Fook. Hi, Kelly. Can you describe your celebration and if you have more coming up in the future as well? Um, yeah, there's a song called I Just Want to Rock, and the guy just, like, does a dance to it. It's not a lot of singing, but he just, like, does this dance move. And so, like, I've been obsessed ever since the song came out. And so I just told everyone we're doing that. Um, but for the rest of the season, yeah, I don't know. We kind of do it, like, game by game, so you'll have to wait and see. Any other questions in the room? Any other questions online? All right, we'll wrap there with Kelly. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Mike, just go ahead and give us your thoughts on the match today against Chicago. Yeah, um, great to be back in front of the home fans. Uh, big crowd, positive performance, clean sheet, three points, four goals. Um, I think with a clean sheet as well, no shots on target against. So obviously based on where we've been the last couple of weeks, it's been something that's been in question in terms of defending the goals that we've given up. So, yeah, happy uh, to bounce back at home. Is, it's a nice feeling, very different to last week. Hey, Mike. Um, a lot of the players talked about, you know, rediscovering joy and, and kind of getting back in the right mindset in addition to obviously getting better results on the field. Um, do you feel like that's made some progress, especially with, with this result? Uh, I would think naturally it probably does feel that way. Um, yeah, we spoke like earlier in the week and messaging today was we can't just wait for positivity to, to come. Uh, we actually have to work hard to, to try and bring that and see the positive and it's easy to see the negativity in terms of where we've been with some of the performances or patches of performance and the goals we've conceded and the, the results. So it's easy to continue on that negative train. So we pushed and challenged each other to see the positive and step towards that in each other and, and building a little bit more co uh, self-confidence with that as well. And um, you know, late in the match, Sophia Smith uh, goes down and was holding her calf uh, in that scenario. Are you able to provide an update as to what her injury situation is? Uh, I really know. I believe it's just a cramp. Oh. OK. Yeah. Um, and. It seems that throughout the season, Crystal Dunn has been a big part of, of the team's success, to put it mildly. I mean, she she's had a really strong year um, coming off of giving birth last year. What can you say about her performance this game and then just in recent weeks? Yeah, I think, like, the big piece is, like, consistency. I think that's probably a part of it. Um, and if you look at how we like to attack, like, the attack midfielders are involved on the flank play to get with the creation, but on the opposite side, we're asking them to get in the box. She's done that well, she's done it consistently. Uh, she's had another positive impact on the game today. Obviously another goal. So yeah, I think it kind of speaks for itself, but I think the consistency piece has been key. Mike, I know coaches like it when set pieces and restarts resulting goals. Couple today, talk about Sam Coffey's delivery, or actually both of those. 
Yeah, um, I mean, I was joking with the staff yesterday. It was, I said, oh, what we do with a goal on set players? I felt beginning of the year we were getting close, probably haven't been quite as threatening recently. But delivery was good, people executed roles. I think that's the key piece. Um, everybody just committing to the roles and having belief that the delivery will be there. It's not always going to be there, but like today, Sam was really consistent with that, and people have, have followed through the roles because. If you don't do that when you're not getting the delivery, when the delivery does come, you, you're going to be lacking a bit. So, yeah, it was fantastic. Uh, Mike, uh, Natalia Kuika scored a great co goal today, uh, and she played also uh, about 20 minutes uh, in central defender. So, uh, what do you what do you think? Uh, how was her performance today? Uh, she was up and down the field like non-stop as always. Um, calm on the ball, goal. Header at the end there was really good. She had another chance back post. I think she just, we know she plays centre back with the national team. Obviously, she showed the comfort level to be at a slot in there. Um, yeah, just really happy and happy she was getting a goal. She's trained really well this week. Just looks really light and bright and confident, to be honest, and especially in the midst of where we've been the last couple of weeks. Just lacking a little belief, bit of belief. She hadn't, she hadn't looked like that. Hey Mike, uh, congratulations on the three points. Uh, 20,000 fans uh, finally show up at a, at a really good game. Um, could you tell us, uh, I think I asked this in the first game, but where were the flaws in this game for your team? What were the flaws? Um, I mean, I think like second half we had spells where we defended in our half. We probably, they had a bit too much possession than we would like. But I've said to the group before, it doesn't matter who we play in this league, teams are going to have spells in the game. Um, it's just too competitive, the quality's too high. So if I'm nitpicking, it would be probably that, a little bit of the defending our half towards the end. But we were re resolute in terms of how we did defend. We probably were just maybe a little bit passive, if that's the right word, or structurally weren't quite there. But again, when they're not getting any shots on goal, on target, can't be too critical. Um, so that's me good part of it in terms of yeah, where the flaws in the performance. But other than that, like I say, no shots on target, clean sheet, three points, four goals. Couldn't ask for much more. Do we have any questions online? If we do, go ahead and use the raise your hand function. Does not look like we do. We have any last questions in the room? One more at the front from Ryan. Uh, just one quick one and then one maybe with longer answer. Um, Natalia Quika went down at toward the end of the game. Uh, do you know her situation? I believe it's just a, uh, a bump to her eye. So okay. there wasn't any fears of a concussion at the time. We didn't use a concussion sub. Uh, just more precaution in terms of a nice little bump. And Olivia Moultrie lately obviously has been a, a – she's broken through for, for this club and, and gotten more opportunities in the starting lineup. Um, what can you say about her play lately? Um, what can I say about her play lately? I mean, she's had an impact on, on goals coming off the bench. She's been involved in creation. She's been involved in the finishing. Um, obviously started last week as well in a different role. That was more of a strategy piece from our perspective. Um, felt we could get her in pockets on the side. Yeah, she's, like you say, she's trying to push through and she is pushing through. Um, she's having an impact on the game. She's had a couple of opportunities the last couple of weeks in, in terms of starting the game. So, yeah, happy. Uh, I'm sure she might not be happy coming off, but yeah, it's just, this is the nature of this group. It's so competitive. And to have the luxury that we do in terms of bringing the talent on that we have is, it's so refreshing. All right, we will wrap it on that note. Thank you so much, Mike, and thank you everyone for your time. Thanks everybody. <laughs>